I honestly don't think you understand how much Jalen loves the show Power. Like, I've never met anybody <laughs> as obsessed with a television show. He knows more about Jaylen it than I do. I know that's for sure. It's so much so that we have an entire segment set aside to talk about Power. But yes. we have to start with sports. Okay. You know what I mean, I know that you, like me, are a Die Easy fan. Mm -hmm. So let's just talk about the NBA as a whole. Like, it's pretty early in the season. But what have, what have you enjoyed about this season so far? Um, that it's kind of the season of dynamic duos. I mean, mm -hmm. even if it's in like the pontification of the dynamic duo, like we were just saying that uh, Paul George is out, but it would be the um, Kawhi, Paul George, uh, AD, LeBron. So you just kind of Westbrook. Yep. Exactly, exactly. A heart Tommy of Tommy Ghost. Tommy yeah, Ghost. Yeah. That's the Tommy <laughs> Ghost. Yeah. Right. No is that, no well, really the timing? The Ghost thing was put into play in the dynamic duels with that opening Clippers Lakers game because it was like it's for domination of the city. Who's going to dominate this city? Yeah. Who's oh, got the yeah. bragging yeah. right? So it was kind of the, and the underdog won. Yes. Love it or hate it, the underdogs <laughs> on top. Yeah. I'm gonna shout, a little shout out to the boss. No doubt, Fitty. Uh, so yeah, so but I, it's an it's an exciting time, and I think that it's it's it it feels like the changing of the guard, especially with um with uh, Golden State kind of mm -hmm. like falling falling back mm -hmm. and being pushed to guard. So it's it'll be interesting to see what uh what happens, and I'm I'm glad the Knicks started are starting out strong. In fact, I thought that D Rose on Detroit was gonna take it out against yeah. the the Sixers the other that day, was a good but pick it was up. good. I was it's at good. That game. Yeah, that was a yeah. good pickup. So we'll, we'll we'll see how things progress. But it's an it's an exciting. It's it's up to the hype. It's time to believe the hype. So you're a huge star, right? So you have you have you sat, <laughs> have you sat courtside yet? Have they, you gotten that like that star courtside ticket yet? Speaking of the hobbits, hey, <laughs> um, so, uh, Jerry Ferreira sits courtside. I did oh, not say yeah? courtside. Jerry Ferreira okay. is the number one Knicks fan in, in, in New York, other than uh, Spike and um, and I will say that Jer I do not have Jerry Ferreira seats. I have never sat courtside. No, I sat courtside with Luis Antonio Ramos. Oh, there you go. The first time I ever went to a uh, Knicks game. Well, we're going to, no, we're going to change that. I got you really? at Nets games, Pistons games, Michigan Wolverine games. See, he don't ever want to go this out. How much seven o'clock? Because he never invited me to sit for seven months. We've been doing this show for eight years. But then you show up, it's like, oh, Tommy's here? Like, oh, it's but, but, you, time. but you left off the part that you go to bed at seven o'clock. Yeah, I know, but it's 7 30. <laughs> but I, but also, I also bring up the courtside thing because Jalen Rose was at that game, as he mentioned, and he stood up, walked up to the baseline, and started yelling at the players. See, but that's different when Jalen Rose does it because when 6'8 stands <laughs> yeah, yeah, up, yeah. It's, different, it's different than when 5'10 stands up. People are like, who? I, they, just, they still think he's sitting down, yeah. but it's me standing up. I wasn't yelling at him. I was cheering for him. There you go. It's different. Yeah. I'm a die hard fan. Mm -hmm. Well, Tommy is very much New Yorker. That's just a character you play. You are from the Chicago area. Now I'm from Chicago, Chicago. the city. Yep. And uh, you're a Bears fan. Yep. And the Bears are kind of at a crossroads right now in the season. Kind of like the Lions in that division. Oh, yeah, the poor Lions, the, the 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 poor Bears. It's it's uh man, I don't get to watch enough Bears games. I tell you, I used to love going to the Bears games when I worked Andy Frayne as well um, at those games, man. But th there's nothing like being at Soldier Field, and I, I I hope I get to get back before the season's over. Mitchell Trubisky got a ball for them, but living in Chicago, the one thing I always appreciated is that they still play outside. When it's freezing cold. I was upset when the Lions decided to play in the dome. I think it take away the home court, home field advantage. It it does because you you tend to build up that um, resilience to the weather. Correct. Yes. Yes. All right. So you're you're a you know, Chicago kid. You're a young actor. Mm -hmm. and you had an opportunity to work on. I believe it was a commercial with Michael Jeffrey Jordan. Michael Jeffrey Jordan. Yeah. Me me and me and MJ. We go way back. I was actually. <laughs> he's texting. He's on the text. Yeah. Yeah. He's just like, yo, man, Kobe will never be me. Just make sure you mention that. Um, but uh, I also actually was assigned to Michael Jordan when he used to go to this club called Le Passage in Chicago. Ooh. Um, and and so I was just kind of the guy that was around Michael Jordan to make sure nobody necessarily bought. Bothered Michael Jordan, and it was, it was always interesting, man. I'll just say that I always I appreciate Michael Jordan as the greatest basketball player of all time. But like you know, when you're assigned and when you're kind of working and <laughs> making sure people don't bother him, a lot of people wanted to bother him, and I, I got to say that Michael would often remind me that I did not do a good job at my job. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I the big follow up question right here: Did he tip well? Um, he 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 didn't tip me. So I can't speak to that, but that's not that wasn't my job. My job was just to make sure that I'm sure he <laughs> yes. tipped the, the ladies very well. <laughs> so you've been hanging out with me too much. You think yeah, he's real. supposed to tip everybody. He should have took care of you. No, yeah, no, no, he shouldn't. He shouldn't. He shouldn't. In fact, it, it, because he told me I didn't do a good job, I think he was just reinstating and reinforcing that you don't do a good job, you don't get a tip. How would he tell you? He would just be like, hey, man, 
keep these people away from me a little bit. I mean, just, a little <laughs> bit. just, just, just so I can breathe. But yeah, he would be he would be back there. But he was a he was a great guy and a, and a gracious human being. And and anytime anybody argues the greatest of all time, I gotta say. You know, even to talking to somebody who uh, talked some trash to him on, on the on the court. Yes. Um. He, you know, and then Michael had to do what he had to do afterwards. Oh no, no, he handled his business. He shut me up and <laughs> shut the rest of the league up real quick. It's, and, and talking about hoops, so I follow you on IG, Joseph mm-hmm. Sakura Four. Mm-hmm. Saw you playing hoops. Yeah, yeah. We got a clip. We, we got a little share clip. With you. Oh boy. See the form. And there's my question: Did you call bank on this? Show? I did. I did. Okay. And, and you know what? Hold on. No, I, I did. You know what? And I'll tell you this because the truth of it is, it wasn't my first shot. The first shot was a miss, but I was with you know my guy designer over there. Yeah. Um, man. So uh, underrated artist. Uh, yeah. Designer. Yeah. So, underrated artist. So so my guy so so my guy Pando over there he he, he knows that I was saying and I, I kept calling glass and then the <laughs> second and in fact if you listen really close on that clip you can hear me barely say glass and then boom. So playing as much basketball as I have, people obviously can judge how they feel like I play. I feel like Jacoby plays like the Joker in Denver. <laughs> Who does your game resemble? Um, Bill Cartwright. Yes! <laughs> yes! 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 I mean, you saw the shot right there. I'm like a tiny little white Bill Cartwright. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports analysis and highlights, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.